To make this mask, the materials you need are a rotary cutter, a ruler, and a cutting mat, or scissors and a ruler. Two different cotton fabrics is often preferred, but one color will work just fine. You need a wire for your nose bridge and something to cut it with. I have gardening prunes. You need also pliers to bend the edges. At the very end, you'll need some kind of tie that's 50 to 60 inches long. First step, obviously, is to cut the fabric. We need two 10 by 8 pieces. The 10s are going to be the top and bottom, while the 8s are the sides. For the next step, place the pieces right side together. Straight stitch all around the mask with a quarter inch seam allowance, and you want to leave a one inch to one and a half hole on the side. Once that's done, you can remove excess fabric from the corners, being careful not to hit your stitching. Once all four corners are trimmed, pull the mask right side out through the hole and turn the corners with either a corner turner like I have or the blunt end of a pencil. Now that the corners are turned and crisp, we need to sew a straight stitch across the top of the mask, about 1 16th to 1 8th of an inch away to form a pocket for our wire. As you can see here, I have this tidy, not so tidy line up right across the top. It doesn't need to be perfect. Now take your wire and cut a piece that's like 6.5 inches to 7 inches. You will need to take your pliers and curl the ends of the wire so it doesn't puncture the fabric and like fling out or poke you in the eye. It'll look like this when you're done. Now take your mask, take your wire, and put it up through the hole and into the pocket you just made. This can take a bit of work because it's a tight fit, so don't get frustrated. Make sure your wire is in the middle, and next we're going to close up the hole. Now that that's closed up with a simple straight stitch, we're going to fold in the sides about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch and crease it. You can use your iron here, but I'm a little gremlin and I don't. Fold in these corners to your crease, and make sure your wire stays out of the way when you take it to your sewing machine. If you like, you can pin these corners into place. Here's a shot of it on my sewing machine, and you can see that I just used the foot to hold the first corner and manually hold the second corner. <laughs> Make sure that you go over these edges a couple of times to keep them from coming up. And the next step is just going to be to add your tie through these holes. With your tie, ensure that the ends come out through the top, which is where you'll tie it around the back of your head. At the bottom, it'll loop around your neck. Homemade on our homestead has a fitting guide that will work for this perfectly. And that's it. That's your mask. You're all done. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.